Hello, how you doing? I am Carlos Miguel. Today is July 1st, 2024. And I am El Paracleto, the Paracletas. If you don't know what that means, you could look it up. Go to John 14, 16 in the New Testament and look up the word, the real meaning of the word comforter, which is Paracletas, which means advocate. So that's that's who it is okay and I might be speaking Spanish and English because I have English speaking audience and I have Spanish speaking audience all right so I want to today I want to be talking about uh, politicians politicians uh, and the corrupt government system which is not from God okay I want to make that very clear the government the Constitution is not from God I have been posting uh, comments about the Constitution and people have been attacking me and I understand I understand because I understand that when you are brainwashed like when you believe something that you think is true and somebody says something otherwise people people get offended Jesus said that the the, the paraclete the, the advocate uh, known as the comforter by Christians that he will guide his followers into all the truth okay. the advocate is also Elijah the prophet and it's also Michael the Archangel Okay, because it's the culmination of everything. It's the last prophet. I am the last prophet. No one can come after me because no one knows what I know. Okay, I have already revealed many things that no one has ever revealed. If you go to my channel on YouTube, El Paracleto, you will, you will see it. You will find it there. All right, and I want to be talking about politics because the goal here is to eliminate politics all politics all the constitution government everything because it, it is the biggest scam the biggest scam okay if you think that we need a government you really do not know how things work and anybody who says that we need to have a government is like a person who, who who has never lived in a in a modern society in a capitalist society okay because that's like telling a business when a business starts that they need a government right if a business doesn't need a government we don't need a government because you don't need anybody telling you what to do with your money Oh, but how are you going to build the roads? We're going to build the roads the same way we build the roads now. Right? Because right now, the people who build the roads are private companies. Private companies that work, that we pay. So they work for us. They're doing a service for us. Or we could even own those private companies. You don't need some middleman stealing your money. First of all, not only stealing your money, you're, you are taxed, you don't know where your money goes. You don't get a receipt, so you don't know what happens. And you know that trillions of dollars get stolen and wasted every year, okay? So, who wants that? I mean, who really wants that? If you want to live in a peaceful, sophisticated, intellectual, society then you have to go with God if you want to live in a moral society you have to go with God okay because now I will establish that society the sovereignty of God on earth okay that is my mission to do that okay because I have the revelations I wanted to I wanted to make people aware because like Jesus says in the Bible, that the, the Messiah comes like, like a thief in the night. Meaning the Messiah come, comes when people are sleeping. 
I am here and people don't even know it. Even the ones I tell, they like sleeping. They're like, ah, you talking nonsense. So they are asleep, okay? When politicians talk, the majority of, the majority of people are asleep. They don't even realize because people become like really asleep, like dull, like, like what's happening, what politicians are saying, and I see it because I don't see, any, I don't see the reactions. What politicians are saying, it just goes over them and they don't, they don't, even, they don't even hear it, okay? They don't even hear it, okay? And many people, I know that many people do not agree I want to be talking about corporate welfare, okay, corporate welfare. Many people are aware of it, but people just say, ah, oh, you know, they, they just they just steal our money. They just steal our money and, you know, just let them go, <laughs> let them go. If somebody does that to you in your house, you will not let them go. If somebody goes into your bank account and steals your money now, you will not let them go. Why you let the government go? Why, why do you do that? Um, okay, so, and... And politicians speak, even when they're speaking, they are committing uh, a crime with, with what they're saying. Okay, and this thing, this thing uh, with corporate welfare, which many years ago I was, not a, I was not aware of it, okay? So the Republicans will complain about welfare and all these things, but they don't tell you about the corporate welfare, okay? And I am anti-democrat, I am anti-liberal, I am anti-government, I am anti-republican. I don't want to know anything about no government system. I don't want any government, any government people, any politician speaking for me. Because you do not speak for me. You do not budget my money. You do not get to decide what you do with my money. You do not get to tax me. You you have gone away with it now, and eventually you will not do it no longer. Because you don't have the right. No one has the right to take your money. I don't care what they call themselves. They don't have the right. And the people who wrote the Constitution did not have the right to say, Congress should have the authority to, to levy taxes or to tax. You, know, you, ha you have no right. Who gave you the right to, to do that, to say that? No one. No one gave you that right. Show me who gave you the right. No one. So, but I want you to become aware how smooth politicians do it. And I am picking Trump because supposedly he's like the, the one that's going to save America, right? When Biden came into office, he said that he was going to save America. Well, he... He, he put it in a worse position, right? Because that's what politicians do. When they go into office, that's what they do. Now, I voted for Trump only for one reason. Only for one reason I voted for Trump. Because he said that he was going to transfer all power back to the people. And he didn't do that, okay? After that, I was never with government or anything like that, but I thought that Trump would bring about the real transformation, but he didn't, he failed. And then I'm finding out all these things that Trump is a real pro corporate welfare. And I'm gonna show you that he is. He says that he is, okay? He's the one that says it. I'm gonna prove it to you right now. Let's go to the video, okay? This video here, that you see here is from this guy Robert Robert Rich and from what I know about him he's a communist he's a liberal he's a leftist but even though he is all those things he's 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 speaking the truth here he's speaking facts here you cannot deny this okay so both both sides are corrupt okay both sides are corrupt uh, for the reason for the simple reason for the simple reason I'm sorry uh, that they are okay with taking people's money without people's consent and that is called theft okay 
I don't care how many roads you want to build, how many hospitals, how many bridges. You cannot take my money without my consent, without my permission. If you do, you are a criminal and you will be judged because you have no right to do that. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you call yourself. I don't care what your cause is. You cannot do that. And this is why we have the problem in the world that we have because governments think that they could do that, that they have some authority to do that, that they are God, that they could decide what they're going to do with people's money, if they're going to have a war, if they're going to have a war, whatever, okay? And I'm going to show you now how Trump is telling you right in front of your face that he's going to steal your money, but he says it in such a way that people think that that's okay, because that's how they speak. These people know how to speak. That's the one thing. They know how to speak. They know how to lie to you. Okay, so let's listen. Let's listen to to Mr. Trump to see what he says. Okay, and they're gonna show it now. This and this was during the coronavirus. I guess there was a big. Let me let me play the the video back a little bit to have an introduction of what this guy. Uh, Robert Re Re Rich, I don't know how to pronounce the last name, the Re Rich, Resh, or whatever. Um, what, he's, what he's preparing here in the video. Okay, and she's another leftist, communist, but this is what happens, you see. They, this, is the, the, this is what politicians do. They point their finger at, an, at another group, another administration, so that no one looks at what they do wrong because they both do welfare they both think welfare is good they both want universal health health care system you see not both i mean the the democrats the democrats wants to steal even more of your money the democrats don't don't like the corporate welfare because they are anti cap they are anti capitalists but Trump is not a capitalist either. He's not a free market capitalist. He's a socialist. Like they call him, a, a, a corporate socialist. So, welfare for the rich. Okay, so let, 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 let me play the video here. History. Corporations have been getting rich off the taxpayer dime for decades, thanks to special tax breaks, subsidies. Okay, you see, this statement, if we could prove this statement, they have to pay us back all the money that they have stolen from us. You know how the black people say, speak about uh, reparations, okay? Which I don't agree with it in, in totality. In, in many ways, I don't agree with it because I don't have to pay you because I didn't steal your money, okay? Maybe somebody that stole your money has to pay you, should pay you back. But this is theft and politicians have to pay back. They have to pay us back for the money they have stolen from us. So let's let's keep listening. And regulatory rollbacks secured by their armies of lobbyists. With a okay, you see this thing right here, the armies of lobbies that they have. This all should be completely illegal. That you have a lobbyist, a lobbyist, like somebody who's 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 bribing you openly, publicly, publicly. And people, the American people, the American people that criticize me when I say that the Constitution is, is, is illegal, is, is, is fake, is false, is corruption, they criticize me. But you don't see what's going on? I mean, what are you, what are you looking at? Because it's, it's religious that, that they did it to you. They did it to you. The Constitution is a religious text, like the like the Marxist manifesto, it's religious, it's a religious text. And they, and they gave you the flag and they give you all this pa patriotic stuff to, to indoctrinate you. The Pledge of Allegiance is, is religion, it's indoctrination. But you don't see it because you're not, you, don't, you do not think like a free market capitalist and you don't know your Bible, you don't know the Word of God. That God is the only sovereign king and God doesn't tax us, so why should anybody tax us? So let's continue here with Mr. Rich, Rich, Rich. Coronavirus pandemic wreaking havoc on the global economy. Here's how massive corporations are shafting the rest of us. In shafting, at least, you know, he says that that's what they're doing. They're shafting you. 
and supposedly you're like a big, you know, big tough hombre, big tough guy that you know, you know, you don't put up with shit from nobody. Well, they're shafting you. Yes, guys, that that, that you you probably could kick their ass, but they're in a suit and they're shafting you and your family and your kids and your business. In order to secure billions of dollars of taxpayer-funded bailouts. Okay, listen now. We will be helping the airline industry. Okay, here's the first one. We will be helping the airline industry. I was born in Cuba, and I was born under communism, under uh, the dictatorship of Fidel Castro, and that's how they speak, we, like we. But when they say that they do it, when the, when the people that he's including, the we do not agree with that. We will be helping the airline industry. No, the, the, the real translation, interpretation of that is we will be stealing your money and I'm gonna give it to big corporations, okay? Because I'm gonna get, I will get voted and I will get a big kickback and all those things. That's, that's what this guy right here is doing. This guy right here, he is a criminal. He's a big time criminal. Okay, just like Biden, don't think just like Biden, just like the rest of them. Because they think they have the authority to take and do whatever they want with your money. Do you really want to give your money to some airline company? That you're not going to get any profits from this airline company? And when you go fly on a plane, they're going to charge you the same money as everybody else? Because at least... If you want to get, you know, some break or something, you just say, okay, I'm going to get a break. Maybe I'm going to get a break when I, when I go buy my airline ticket, but you're not going to get no breaks. No, this is, this is what the words that he's using are totally deceitful, deceptive, you know. Okay, we will be helping the cruise ship industry. The cruise ship industry. This is not like the, just to say, the, like the Red Cross or we're going to be helping uh, widows, like Jesus said, we're, not, we're, we're gonna be helping widows and orphans, right? He didn't say that. If he would have said that, I would have like said, well, you know, you gotta, you gotta prove it. And I will, you know, I will be willing, of course, to help the widow and the poor. And he, he has no right to use our money to help anybody because he doesn't have that right. I want you to understand, he does not have that right. We have to strip all that away from government. They do not have that right. But for him to say that he's gonna help the cruise ship industry, that, that is like, what the hell are you saying? I don't wanna help the cruise ship industry. I have bills to pay. All this money that they spend, I think I, uh, I looked it up, it's like a uh, hundred billion, and probably it's more than that, of course, a hundred billion a year in, in, in welfare, in corporate welfare. I think that amounts to around, depending on how many people you include, around 700, from 500 to 800 dollars a year of your money, of our money, that I could have already thousands of dollars in the bank because they steal our money because how they, well, with taxes, okay? So that's what this guy is saying. And he does, he's a criminal. And I'm, 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 I am deeply, also I wanted to say to the people of America, I am deeply, deeply offended by these people standing up back there, giving them some podium with flags behind them and the White House and all that shit. I don't want none of that crap. I don't want none of this. This is like if we were slave and they're like the kings and queens. I don't, this is offensive to me, very offensive to me that supposedly our employees are telling us what they're gonna do with our money. That is unacceptable, okay? And let's continue listening a little more. We probably will be helping the hotel industry and the hotel industry. The last time I went to a hotel, I had to pay, not, not only did I have to pay the room, now you have to pay the hotel fees, which is like $50 a day, plus $49 for parking, depending on which hotel you go to, okay? 
and this I don't I don't even want to I want I feel like calling him a name but I'm not gonna do it and this criminal wants to steal your money to give it to the hotels this is unacceptable and it has to stop and not only has to stop we have to sue them and we have to get our money back because this is not this is not gonna fly okay I want my money back okay the money that they stole from me I want it back I want reparations and you want reparations so you need to join me so we could do it okay but this people speaking for us has to stop they do not represent me I don't want no one representing me if I want to pay if I want somebody representing me in a, I, 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 maybe I'll hire a lawyer but he's not my lawyer he's nobody to me for this guy to have the power to be taking our money trillions of dollars and doing whatever they want with our money this is totally unacceptable the airline industry demanded a massive bailout of nearly 60 billion taxpayer dollars okay and this too you see the airline industry demanded a bailout <laughs> like who the hell are you to demand a bailout but this is what they created right this is what they have created because they know that they could take your money because you don't say anything you just don't say anything your people are watching tv thinking that you know thinking they 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 take your money they take more every year they take more more corruption they become these big huge corporations like amazon uh, blackrock and all these people they get so much power that when they start buying and taking control of all all the businesses you will become a slave like they do with the farmers and all the stuff you will become a slave and like like that that youtube uh videos that they tell you that they want you owe nothing you own nothing you have nothing and all that stuff okay and you become a slave you become an employee a full 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 employee and they'll keep cutting you at the legs more and more and more and more you believe in god and you're gonna tell me that you find that okay then you don't believe in god and if you're like an atheist and you think this is okay something very wrong with you okay this is alarming that these people could just do this like openly it is really scary that they could do this and we have to stop it and now is the time to stop it dollars and ended up securing 50 billion half in loans half in direct grants that don't need to be paid back they don't have to be paid back you know it's just here's a freebie 50 billion dollars <laughs> like oh my god Oh my God, it's like... Airlines don't deserve a cent. That's right, they don't deserve a cent. Because in free market capitalism, you don't have to give anybody anything. It's your money. We have to rip this thing off, because we have to start somewhere. We have to bring this before uh, the what they call the Congress or whomever. We have to bring this case against them. I need people. I need people that could speak, you know, professionally. We have to present our case, we have to sue them, and we have to get our money back. And we have to strip this, this power and authority from these people that they think that they, could make, that they could make a war and use our money. Like, I don't want you to be making no war, okay, with my money. I don't want you giving my money to Ukraine or Israel or anybody else, okay? Supposedly, supposedly, the people who, who, because nobody pays taxes, that's another lie. You do not pay taxes. The money is stolen from you, okay? But let's go, let's say with the taxes that you pay. Supposedly, you pay taxes to protect this country from anybody attacking us not protect another country not protect another country no you protect this country like you protect your house you're not going to protect your neighbor's house 
because you can't. You gotta protect your house. So this, uh, this is what's happening in America. I'm mainly speaking to the people of God, to Christians, which Christians are, are, have mingled with the world. They, they follow Paul. They follow the Constitution and all that nonsense, okay? I want you to write to me. I want you to comment. I want you to follow God. And, and we're going to stop this. We're going to stop this in the name of Yahuwah, in the name of God. The five biggest U.S. airlines spent 96% of their free cash flow over the last decade buying back shares of their own stock to boost executive bonus. You know, the more, the more you hear this, the more sickening it becomes, okay? But it's good. It's all good because my son says it's all good, okay? It serves a purpose, okay? It serves a purpose, okay? It's like it's showing you that you're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way, okay? And and what will happen is that they will destroy your children's future. They will destroy your children's future. And you don't want that, right? You're supposed to fight for your children, okay? Fight. All right, so in this video, I just wanted to show that. I wanted to show how politicians speak, okay? And the same thing that Trump is saying here, the same thing that Biden does. They go up there and they say, we're gonna give this and we're gonna do this and we're gonna do this. Like, you know, you're not speaking for me, right? Because suppose, supposedly, and I hate that word democracy, supposedly this is a, like Biden is always saying that democracy, we have to defend democracy. What the, I don't know what the hell he's saying. I am not a Democrat. I am a free market capitalist. I don't care about your democracy, okay? As long as you don't touch my money, everything is fine. That's it. I don't need any democracy. I need you to obey God's laws, and that's it. I don't want your democracy. I don't want your republic. I don't want none of your things. I don't want liber libertarianism. I don't want nothing. I want God's laws. So this, they, they have you fighting Democrats against Republicans. That is exactly where they want you to be at exactly where they want you to be at you know who does the same thing christians do the same thing for 2000 years christians now they have 39,000 denomination or so 30 31 or 30 or whatever denominations they're constantly fighting keeping people from knowing the truth right what did jesus said about the pharisees what did he say about the pharisees you don't go in and you don't let anybody go in okay that's what they do they don't go in into the sovereignty of god into the kingdom of god and they don't let anybody go in with their with their fighting and arguing constantly even though they claim to have the holy spirit guiding them into all the truth but they don't have they don't have the truth and politics is the same way it's another religion the Democrats want you in their religion. The Republicans want you in their religion. The Libertarians want you in their religion. One of them, of course, there's always one of them that gets closer, closer, a little bit closer to the truth. It will be the Libertarians. Not the Democrats, not the Republicans, the Libertarians. They are a little bit closer to the truth. But I don't want them. I don't want no government. Nobody has the authority to tell me or to put laws over me because I already follow God's laws. You cannot make anything better than God's laws. All right, so I want you to think about it. I want you to comment. I want you to tell me I am with you. What do we do next? All right? And teach this to your children. Do not let your children grow up worshiping the government or growing up in this confusion. You don't want that. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video.